So I am 11 plus 4 today. Um, since my last little video thing, I've kind of had some really good days and some really, really bad days. Um, I had one day last week where I literally couldn't move. I felt like I'd got flu. It was just, if I moved, I threw up. And so all I could do was just either sleep on the bathroom floor or throw up in the bathroom. It was really beautiful. And it was one of the days I was supposed to be working as well. But that's the joys of having your own business and working with your family. Because you can just go, right, I'm going to go to bed now. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I was working with my dad that day as well. So that was quite nice. So I took myself up in bed and got bought minestrone soup. Which was very nice. Although it did then come back up. But it's quite nice. And I'm suddenly feeling really quite lucky about how where I work. Um, well one side of it which is my other worry at the moment because I also work at a riding stables and I'm I'll basically run a riding stables when I'm there and it's becoming really quite I don't want to say obvious because I don't think anyone knows I'm pregnant yet but it's, it's going to be pretty queer, clear pretty quickly that I'm not going to be able to do some of the things that I used to do because I'm the person that will jump on a stupid horse that is misbehaving and I had a situation the other week when my own horse was really misbehaving and usually I would jump on her and sort her out and I found myself not wanting to jump on her and so I've, I've started out, I've advertised for her to go out on loan to somebody else because I'm realising that you know, this pregnancy is so important to me I can't risk being held off a horse I've always been really lucky and my first sort of major accident was just after I conceived, which I didn't realise at the time, but I ended up being taken into hospital and I was in there for three days with a back injury and it was nasty after being thrown off another horse and the sort of having that happen now is really sort of, it's quite scary and I don't, I, I just couldn't do it and so I'm going to have to tell my boss really, really soon. My scan's on Monday so I've only got sort of five days to wait and touch wood everything will be okay at that and if it is then I'm gonna tell her which is making me even more anxious because she suffered a few miscarriages as well and so I know what it's like having people you know fall pregnant around you after you've miscarried you you go through every sort of thought process and you're convinced that they've done it because you can't I mean my best friend fell pregnant within days of me falling pregnant with one of my miscarriages and then I lost my baby at seven odd weeks and she hurried on full term and then the same happened with the same friend bless her the second time that she conceived and it was another one of my miscarriages and I found it really hard I couldn't even look at her for a while and seeing her pregnant just I was so happy for her but at the same time I just felt so it is jealousy there's no other way of saying it I felt so jealous and I, I can't, it's really bothering me that I'm going to put or potentially put somebody else through those feelings because it's not nice. And I've not been working there very long and I know her personal situation and I took the job before I even knew I was pregnant. So <sighs> it's going to be a tough conversation. And then knock on effects of that is obviously I'm going to need to find another job because I've started closing down the work that I've been doing freelance so oh lots of things to think about pregnancy wise my boobs are killing me um I'm a little bit worried about my left nipple um it's sort of going a bit flat and it really stings so I've got some where are you shameless advertising here I've got a bit of this goopy stuff oh which one again that stuff because um, a friend recommended it and said that it was good to start stretch marks and also sort of help your boobs stretch and everything so I've been rubbing my boobs with that every night or every morning as well um, but my left boob is massive and it really hurts and I think my nipples got a bit funny um, what else oh I've got an infection which is nice so I'm on antibiotics Woo! Um, I'm just waiting to hear back from the doctors to see if they want to change me or put me on different antibiotics or anything but I think it's all right and I feel all right myself I think that might be why I felt so crap last week though because I was obviously fighting an infection off um 
so touch with that it'll be all right um things with matt i'm very nice i think as my hormones are settling down a little bit i'm probably being a little bit devil woman or a little bit less devil woman than i was um and I'm certainly, I'm still crying at stupid things. Hollyoaks is breaking me to pieces at the moment. I don't know why I'm even watching it. I don't even like it, but I'm watching it and it's making me cry. Um, and I made the mistake of watching Love Actually. And that film makes me cry at the best of times. And I was a blubbing wreck from like the opening sequence. And it's when Marty McCutcheon meets you and Grant. And it's just so beautiful and they fall in love straight away. And it was all a little bit ridiculous. But I don't know, it was quite funny at the same time. Um... What else to say? I bump wise. Matt's still convinced I've got a bit of a bump. I don't think I do. I think I'll just get fat. I think because I'm eating properly for the first time in a long time, I'm just going. And I've definitely I've got chub here, definitely. And I think my arms are getting a bit. But I don't know. I'll have a look. Might. <laughs> yeah, check out those boobs. They're huge. Um, oh, I don't know, actually, maybe there is a wee bit of a bump there. Hmm, yeah, I think maybe there is, actually, today. Okay, so I'll take it back. Maybe there is a bit of a bump today. Um, but then yesterday, I didn't think there was one. And then the day before, I just thought I looked like a big fat mammoth. Um... Hmm, what else are they? Oh, I might have some really exciting news next week, but I can't tell you yet, because I'll find out tomorrow. But it's really exciting and really cool. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm trying to think of anything else to tell you. I think that's it, really. Um, nope, my brain's gone. I've got really bad baby brain. I found... A bag of sugar in the fridge, I found the remote in the tumble dryer, well, kind of above the tumble dryer, and then I completely forgot I baked a loaf of bread last week, and went to put in the dinner last night, because I've got two ovens, and so I went to put something in the oven, and found an entire fruit loaf, it was fruit and tea bread, and I really fancied it now, but I've had to give it to the ducks, because, well, it's gone a bit stale, so that was a bit of an epic fail, um, yeah, definite baby brain. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I just kind of bumble around. It's quite nice, really, because I don't have to think about anything. I just bounce around and just go, yep, okay, that's fine. Um, yes, Bump, if you're watching this with your mum, your mum has totally gone a bit bonkers. Um, and it's because you're in my tummy and I've lost my brain cells. I used to be a clever woman, but now I'm not really. I'm just a bit sick. But I like it because it means I'm pregnant. Um... And I'm really excited about meeting Bump in, um, ooh, what day is it? Six days time. Six days time I get to meet Bump again. So me and Matt are both ridiculously excited. So anyway, I will check in again in about a week. Anyway, bye.